Okay, 30 seconds. Okay. Seven guys, can we just do one? Yeah, certainly uh, they're they're trying to protect the uh, adjacent structures to either side of these homes for sure. You can see firefighters back here trying to put water on the fire to keep the fire away from these homes. real steep over it, but you know, I, I don't know if you can see that hot spot there. Just kind of, once we turn, you'll be able to see it better. But I'm gonna focus on this because those homes are threatened right now. Ah, look at that, firefighter, wow. Morning star, morning star. for them and also for the water dropping helicopters to get in there. I mean, it is so difficult to drop that water precisely with these strong winds. water into the flames. The wind is blowing the water back at them. It's just a firefight like we, we've never seen before. These firefighters down here on these two uh, streets themselves, but I'm going to come back down here. Lapsed in. They're still burning. Firefighters doing what they can to put out the hot spots and protect the homes next door. You can see there are several firefighters in the backyard, possibly with the homeowner. And it looks like that house has been spared, but that's right in that cul-de-sac of Canyon Heights Drive off of Banner Ridge. And as I tilt up the street, you can see several other homes that have caught fire. This one uh, that I'm zooming into is the one that's closest to Hetty's location. And you can see that's a complete loss. Okay. Okay, we'll do. This is the Patrick Healy area. Did not drop there.
let's uh, let's go ahead and make that turn. We do a right turn or yeah, do do a right turn if you can. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. 